All right, welcome back, folks. We have a map to recover. Maybe we'll clean out our cabinets a little bit, too. Our cabinets? Well, my thought cabinet. Maybe you could start a, a new page in your notebook. I don't know, Kim. I don't know how your organizational theory works. I just know that it does. Maximum mag. Okay, now, what else don't we need? We don't need money anywhere near as much as we did. It's possible that I will have one more night here. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. What's up, Gart? Hey, was there something you needed? Yeah, about my bill. You got it? Not yet. Then why are you wasting my time? And yours. But what, wait, what day is it? Day four. I, I thought that was supposed to be cleaned up. I am not going in there. <laughs> That's okay, neither am I. But going out on a limb, if and if I got rid of of another thought cabinet thing, what would I even put there? Because the, there are some things that I know I want to get that are not options yet. Hey, weren't we supposed to ask a... Uh, we'll talk to them in a second. Uh, let me hit the radio. Did you find out more about the owner of the armored boots? Yes, I, it took some convincing, but I got the mercenary's name and a few biological details. Are you ready? I was born ready, baby. That suit of armor was issued to an Oranje citizen named Ellis Cort... Cortnauer. That's E-L... Echo, Lima, Lima... No, we're not doing that. Exact date of birth, unknown. He was signed into the Lelystad County Neonatal Care Unit on 28th February, 09. Neonatal care? He was found as a newborn in a leaf compactor near an abandoned farm. He spent four months in the neonatal unit, survived apparently, and was assigned to a foster family at two. According to Clausia, Lely said his real name wasn't even his. Maybe that's because he was fostered. This is what the ICP knows about him. Raised by foster parents, entered the Ijbrad Military Academy in Vredeford at 17, then served in the Oranje's forces till honorable discharge in 41, just a year before the Seminese conflict. Then the armor followed him to Seminese, or at least I assume it, it did. And that's it. There are no records of his employment in Crenell, or any of its other incarnations, or even him entering Revishol. He was found in a leaf compactor? It's a garden tool used to press leaves into these cubes. It's a detail the hospital had, the only detail in those files, so I, I thought it would be good for you to know. It is. Thank you, Alice. Any information on the foster parents? None. Sorry, officer. So all we have to connect him is that armor. Even that is a small miracle. These organizations usually double-check their inventory. He leans closer to the radio and shouts, Thank you, Alice. Great work. No problem, Lieutenant. She sounds pleased. Well, we have his name and service record. And name. This is very good. Alice Cortenau. I'm glad the inquiry was helpful to your investigation, officer. Did you have other questions? Yeah, connect me to the 41st. Just a moment. I, don't, I think you're still not allowed. You can't tell me anything about me? Orders or orders. Anything else? Over. All right. Now, if you'll pardon me. Well, okay, I do need more cigarettes. Maybe that's what I need to keep money for. <laughs> Minus authority. I think, I think I'll need authority for this.
Shivers or authority? Hard to say. La la la. No. No. Hmm. Perception? No. Ugh. Kim, don't look. Oh no, I never edited the thing out. Oh well. Hey, I did a thing last video that I just remembered I didn't edit and it's already uploaded. All right, well, uh, I said something I meant to static out and I was going to static it out in post edit and I forgot. Note to self. Keep a notepad by the, the, by the computer so I can make note to self. It's not as uh, useful for me if I don't. I can say note to self all I want. Doesn't mean it matters. Extended note to self. Man, that's a bummer. Piss. Psh. Ah, says the young man with piss psh, written on his back. A real skull right now. I jack it, paint it in palm tree livery, then bottom light it neon style. His companion wears a simple yet elegant slogan. Fuck the world. I want a skull right now. I came to get this car and get down. Snazzy shit ripped skull mobile like this would make a fine trophy. We could like hang fucking shrunken heads from the side mirrors. Cops heads, scary tribal shit. You sound 12. Yeah, tribal shit. A cop carriage like this would have proper skull value. This is like... I mean, that... Hey, Half-Stash. I appreciate the interest you take in my brutal motor carriage. I have to stop you right there. The RCM takes threats directed at its property seriously. I, um... It's just theoretical work, copper. No basis in reality. Man, if we were certified skulls right now... All right, Beavis and Butthead, who are you? We're not, cop. We're not snitches or skulls. Which is not to say that the skulls are bitches and... On the contrary, the part of the presentation you want to take home with you, cop man, is we're not part of the skulls yet. Who? You don't know? What kind of cop are you? <laughs> I'm so glad you asked. The question was rhetorical. The Skulls are the most vicious gang of the Burst Mertenier. Uh, Best Mertenier, or Best Murty, the Immortals, are the West Revisholian crime syndicates. The nastiest bunch of psychos ever. Jacking carriages and getting them into... Wow. Where is this accent going? Getting into high-speed chases. Yeehaw! Possessing an infinite amount of fuck-all swagger. Infamous for their non verbal modus operandi. That's a lot of syllables for you, non verbal If a skull spots you, he will pull out his dagger, dagger and stab you without saying a word. The lieutenant's voice is calm as usual. A testament to the violence and death he's witnessed through the sight of his firearm. They usually occupy the burnt-out quarter in Jamra. Or you can find them loitering around their lightly painted bottom lighted vehicles oh i can't wait to become a skull bottom lights are wretched aggressive <sighs> no they are really really aren't it's porno tuning say no to the porno i agree kim don't just put bright colored flashy neon lights in your rig just because it's supposed to look cool he said trying not to look over at his gaming pc Stop changing colors. You're making me look bad. Do you know Cindy the Skull? The young man's eyes glaze over as he marks in a voice filled with longing. Oh, yeah. Cindy's a right proper skull. Yeah. 
A true artist. You know what? We're taking this the full nine yards. I already called him that, so. <laughs> yeah, a true artist of the future, just like Arno Van Eyck. <laughs> By the way, if you see Cindy, give her our regards. <laughs> he adds, returning from whatever void he was just visiting. The lieutenant on your left is unusually lenient towards them. You know, from the former juvie cop. Who's Van Eyck? <laughs> Old man, it doesn't matter. You'll be long gone before his greatness is recognized. A young woman kneels on a sheet of ice, as if looking for something lost long ago. She bends until her right ear touches the frozen water. She listens to it crack, slowly. That's not all that far away from here. So you're saying I'm an old man? <laughs> yep, <laughs> old as fuck. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> it's like a death store. <laughs> no wonder you know nothing about the future. <laughs> you won't even be there. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Why aren't there more skulls in Martinet? The Union does their share of policing in Martinet, at least where gangs are concerned. The lieutenant answers instead. That's why there isn't much organized crime around here. Apart from the Union themselves, of course. <laughs> Don't you worry about that, little lady. <laughs> We're going to make up the deficit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I cannot keep this bad Beavis and Butthead impression going for much longer. <laughs> Your rhetoric is confusing. Are you part of the Skulls or not? <laughs> We're not, we're not franchise skulls. <laughs> well, not yet. Once we get our name out there, we'll have a chance to join them. And what makes you think that they're going to accept you? Because <laughs> we can be just as psycho and vicious. <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> I am the great Cornholio! Babeth, calm down. Oh, you'll see for sure once we're in. <laughs> it's the last thing you'll ever see before the void consumes you. You don't feel very scared. Are you implying that I might be in some sort of a danger? The young man silently raises two fingers to his temple, and an imaginary cock hits the cartridge. Pshoo! A threat? Good. I like those. But I don't. Kim interjects quickly. In fact, I dislike them so much, I'm willing to drag you boys down to the station just to calm myself down. Hey, there. <laughs> there's a, there's no need for that. We're just, we're just talking here. Jo joking too. <laughs> Stay light, man. Yeah, <laughs> didn't you, didn't you just cop like you had <laughs> questions about the skulls or some shit? Do you know anything about the murder? <laughs> murder? Yeah, the man hanged in the back of the whirling rags. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> we'll gladly tell you everything we know about it. <laughs> um, it, it was a dude. <laughs> yeah. Also, he was hung. Beavis, you mean hanged. <laughs> Maybe I mean both. Look, don't fuck around. I am the law! <laughs> he was hanged from a tree. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, duh. These, these punks don't know anything. Let's just move along. Hey, stop right there. <laughs> how, how does one know anything? Oh, this sounds like epistemology. A field so occupied by thought that it begins to question thought itself. However, there's no way these young men could possibly be aware of her work. I feel like I missed a check in, in between there. I know you don't know shit about fuck. Exactly. How how can one know shit? For for example, how can one be sure that there truly is a body hang, hanging behind the hostel? <laughs> what if it's art? <laughs> or just a mere specter? It's not. A man's dead. We need answers. <laughs> so what do you think we know? What's with these jackets? What about them? 
Why does your jacket have <laughs> written on it? And well, first off, it's a statement and not necessarily something that characterizes me as a person. Even though the statement has character and I do like piss. The word piss <laughs> epitomizes the struggle taking place in the world. Things being defined as they seem, not as they are. And, uh, and I guess it's, uh, <laughs> it's also about communal spirit, the, the future, and truly appreciating our differences. Also, you've got to, I can't, I can't have serious conversation in this voice. Oh my gosh. Um, also, you've got to admit, it catches the eye. And since the Grand Piper is slowly but steadily moving towards basing the economy on it, Attention! <laughs> it's an imperative that the medium itself convey the message. All right, makes sense. What I mean by this, we are all pissed, and now the world is inherently meaningless. Well, it seems the young man has a certain expertise in at least one field, even if it's rather narrow. And you, butthead, why do you have fuck the world written on your jacket? <laughs> like I said before, many men keep searching for the one. For, for so-called true love, which is actually just obsession masquerading as kinship. <laughs> the thrill of the chase, the hollowness that fills your chest cavity after catching it. To catch a fish, you need to hurl the lure many times. And even then, it isn't sure that you'll get anything. If you blow up the lake, though, that is a terrible metaphor. You get more fish in a shorter time. <laughs> And for, for time is of the essence, and fleeting ever so quickly. <laughs> one must think of a way to fuck the whole world, and not get caught up in fucking some one. Because when one fucks everything, he fucks nothing. And to me, that feels glorious. Sticking your dick into the void. <laughs> Is it a coincidence that here we have two, count them, one, two, badass jackets and two badass cops? Hey, Kim. Yes? Do you think it's a coincidence? What is? That there are two of us and two of these jackets. What are you implying? Which one would you wear? I'm not sure I understand you, detective. So, Kim, are you more of a <laughs> or a fuck the world kind of guy? Neither. Kim, come on, it's just a mental exercise. Fine, if only to end this discussion. Theoretically, if I were a juvenile delinquent, if I were to already be down that path, I think <laughs> is the stronger of the two statements. Yeah, that works. I feel more like a fuck the world kind of guy. Seems about right, especially considering your heroic exit the dumps. So, <laughs> are we done here? Or <laughs> you don't need us around for your your secret whisper party, do do you? I think I just demonstrated I got all the shivers I could get, didn't I? No, I didn't, because I thought I needed authority still. That's a little bit more. That ride is fucking lightning. Hey, look who it is. Shrunken cop head material. Oh, it's half light. That's why. Duh, I have other half light. I have a lot of half light, don't I? Or at least I have one piece that is a lot of half-light. All right. Ugh. That's not helping. Take him off. Oh my gosh. All right, that kids. Fucking lightning. Hey. Look who it is. Shrunken cop head material. 
I need your clothes, your boots, and your motorcycle. What? These guys aren't scary. You're not scary. I have nothing to work with here. It's either begging or bullying. Or both. Just ask him, maybe. Gentlemen, I need your jackets. Uh, why? Do I have to answer that? You don't have to answer them. We don't have to give you our jackets. <laughs> Doesn't sound like you have a reason. Look at the shit I'm wearing! Yeah. Like you said, total shit. What about it? There's a spark of sympathy in the youth's eyes. Leather would be such a cool look on me. The lieutenant looks down at his bomber jacket and shrugs, obviously content with his uniform. Please? <laughs> Fine, fuck it. Take it. I can't handle this sad shit. Wow. I did not I did not see that coming. You better wear that jacket with pride. Fuck that. You're not getting mine. My dad's a lawyer in La Delta. He'll have your badge. No, he won't. The lieutenant is highly amused by the situation. Wait. Hey, world fucker, you got a rich dad? No, no, he's 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 like a, a volunteer lawyer. <laughs> a total bitch. Cites the law and does the dishes. You know what, cop? Fuck you. That's not what this is about. <laughs> You're not getting my jacket. Fuck him. We don't need his rich dad jacket anyway. You know, Kim, we don't need the other one. You said that you're more of a kind of guy. So I have I got the jacket for you. I'm not wearing that jacket. Why not? You could go undercover again. Hard. I don't think. This case requires us to go undercover or raise hell. In fact, I don't think the jacket will be useful at all. Still, it's good to know we have it should the need arise. The need will not arise. Look at this cute shit. <laughs> How can we become skulls if you go around fraternizing with cops? Let's get the fuck out of here before anyone sees us. <laughs> fuck, I'm, I'm sorry, man. I just, <laughs> I just don't like confrontations, that's all. Leather jacket. Plus one drama. No fucks given. Minus one authority. Wait, I'm a detective? A leather jacket that recently belonged to a young man who possessed some intimate knowledge on the human condition. Also the viewer's mother. What? It has his nom de guerre written on the back. It's quite a statement. I'm glad the game kind of censored itself here, because... That was going to be a fun thing. <laughs> fun in air quotes. You take authority. I kind of need that back. All right. You know what? You ignore what's written on the back, and you kind of look like my dad, and that's concerning. Ugh. Just make them aviators and... All right, we're not going any further down that train of thought, folks. You finally made it, haven't you? People point fingers and whisper to each other when you pass by, wondering to themselves, where did that man get such a cool jacket? Did he receive it upon graduating the École Normale Supérieure, the badassery? Is he dangerous? I'm a danger to myself. What am I doing? This is insane. Oh, no, believe me. It'll be everyone else who's uncomfortable with it. You are safe. No one dares say a word, unless they're, like, from your station and coming to judge you. But what are the chances of that happening? What just happened? Oh, I bumped the sensitivity button. That's what happened. And now I can't find my cursor. There it is. Wait, which one is the sensitivity button then? There it is. Okay. Never mind. 
my my trackball is too advanced for me apparently. All right, I don't I don't need to. Yeah, I I just don't need to. That's all that that sentence needs. Yes. Do you have anything to say about that exchange? If I put the coat back on, do you have anything to say about that exchange? Yes. All right, fine. Uh, we're running out of things to do on this side of the water lock. You keep coming back. That's good, officer. Keep browsing those clothes. Keep saving that economy. I'm trying. Those are some pretty good sneakers. Maybe I do want to aim towards that. The shine on those sunglasses lasts a lifetime, officer. 100% guarantee. Hey, give them over. A good starter pair, officer. And when you're ready to upgrade, come back and see me. What's composure? Yeah, we'll do it. It's a mix of rerouing that check, but also I use you composure a man. lot. That's good, officer. Keep browsing those clothes. Keep saving that economy. Something cold grazes your hands. Synthetic and sleek. A windbreaker. Surf, it says, but also wind. Summer, 100% waterproof. And sport, all in different typefaces. Ugh. This jacket is the apex of hev human evolution, the moment at which man became weatherproof. That's the most metal thing I've ever heard. Good choice, officer! Mega sporty! And it's only 450 for you, sir. Yeah, I'll take that too. Gotta prepare for springtime, right? I still do not understand your... Attachment to changing clothing every 10 minutes. It's numbers related, Kim. I don't know how to better explain that. Game, you are still popping all your textures in. And uh, behind the scenes moment here, I turned off all anti-aliasing and it's not that bad. Those yellow roses in the window, those aren't the flowers that were left for Klasia. No, they aren't. I am never going to get that clue, and that's sad. That's sad. How much do I have? I have enough for a few packs of smokes. All right. Uh, I picked up some bottles, didn't I? Not a lot. You're a richer man now. Okay. Oh, that, that kind of reminds me. I'm going to check my clipboard because we have more information on the corpse. No, I want I want my this case. Yeah, I don't want to think about that anymore. Um, evidence. Fractured bullet. We never poked at this. The bullet mushroomed out on impact. It now looks more like a fanciful jacket button than something that could pierce skin, flesh, and bone. The bullet is safely sealed away in a plastic bag bearing the RCM steam. Kim has filled out the label on the bag with the item number, case number, and date and location the bullet was found. Besides his orderly handwriting, the well, it looks especially sad, like a tiny shriveled head of cauliflower. What do I do with you, Bullet? What? The lieutenant steps closer. Kim, I said, what do I do with you, Bullet? 
well, if I was the bullet, which I am not, and I am concerned that I have to say this out loud, I would say, find the weapon that shot me. Yeah, good idea. If we find who owns it, we will have likely found who used it, possibly to kill our victim. In conclusion, the more we know about this bullet of yours, the better. Feel the bullet. The squashed bullet has some sharp edges where the jacket split open. It feels cold, even through the bag. You wouldn't ordinarily have cause to handle jacketed bullets. The citizens' militia uses cast bullets only, little pebbles of metal loaded from the muzzle, usually in a cartridge. Inspect it closer. The jacket of the bullet is made of yellowish metal. It has blossomed out to reveal a dark gray core. Brass and lead, I'm guessing? The base of the bullet is close to 5 millimeter in diameter. The core is lead. The brass jacket probably didn't cover the entire bullet, otherwise the softer metal wouldn't have expanded quite like that. Look at the jacket. You can just about make out a few striations near the base of the bullet. Little hairlines, linear. It feels standard. And the core? It's quite destroyed. Some of the fragments are still lodged in the wound. What can you say about the bullet so far? It's a soft point bullet with a lead core and a brass jacket close to 8 mil in diameter. Okay, jacket that means it would have been shot from a military grade breech loading rifle and not from a muzzle loader like those typically found on the streets of Revachol West. We were right, this came from a serious weapon. Highly unusual, the people of Revachol haven't carried breech loading weapons like this for nearly half a century. Even the RCM uses ordinary unjacketed conical bullets. This is strange. Very strange. I like this, officer. Strange means unique. Unique means incriminating. We need to find the gun that shot it. I actually know this? Yeah. It's as if you've seen bullets before, officer. We had a lot of pluses to that, let's face it. Uh, rifle, revolutionary period. Your bullet looks to be an old 4.46 millimeter from the surplus left over from the turn of the century. Probably an antique or a retrofitted antique. Make? The 4.46 caliber was widely used with the Bell McGrave rifle, uh, Revacholian manufacturer. The BM dominated the battlefields of the Insul Indian theater of the anti centennial revolution 50 years ago. Incidentally, you have such a rifle with you. The dusty old thing you found hidden in the basement below the commercial area. It's unusable, sadly, but if it were, the bullet would probably fit the chamber. Is anyone still making these? Well, technically no, but Ziegler, a major firearms manufacturer, ended up with a surplus after the war, so there are still a lot of these old military rifles floating around. Usually broken, the quality was appalling. All right, who uses the BMs these days? Antiques enthusiasts, guerrilla fighters in distant countries, a few lucky jamrock bangers. You're looking for the same thing you found in that hidden weapons cache, but in working order. Hmm. Lieutenant jots something down in his notebook. What are you thinking? Bullet? Kim, are you asking the bullet what it's thinking? Didn't you just make fun of me for talking to the bullet? I was not asking the... Officer, please. I think I know where this came from dangle. Okay, and? The shot probably came from a Bell Margrave rifle. An antique. Hmm, that makes sense. There can't be many breech-loading rifles floating around in Martinet, or anywhere in Gravachol, really. Why not? Sure, there's some arms trafficking, but the laws prohibiting the use of breech-loaders we inherited from the monarchy have been effective from what I've seen. Some new RCM recruits get impatient with their muzzle loaders once they've trained with military-grade weapons, but they realize that it's worth it in the end. Prohibiting peacetime law enforcement to front-loaded rifles is a policy enforced by the Moralist International in all the nations of the Real Belt. All right, time for the detective to say things that I don't agree with. Worth what? Getting shot? Imagine if everyone, cops, citizens, had access to firearms that could shoot multiple rounds without pausing to reload. After the first shot, the second, the third, and so on come much easier. Did I mention I'm playing this in mid to late 2020? But back to the investigation.
Do we want to annoy him? Maybe a little. Something mysterious is afoot with this antique bullet type. Mis mysterious. Hm. Okay. Either way, we'll know when we find the gun. Yeah, it's probably a good thing we can't find that many around here. I have to hand it to the monarchs. It's quite admirable that they took the advice of criminologists last century and banned the use of breech loaders in peacetime. Da -da -da, da -da 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 -da. Going back to previous topics. You know what? I think we should have more powerful gun. We're the we're the law. Yeah, seems we're looking for an antiques enthusiast. Doesn't seem that likely, but we'll check out all possible leads. All right. I think we found what we needed to on that front. We don't need that. That will destroy me. Aw. I do know the alphabet. No, we're not talking to you. I'm done with it. Uh... Does knowing more about the bullet affect you in any way? I don't think so. The copper NATO is back. What do you want? Uh, next thought. Does knowing a little bit more about what she was doing with the pail change our checks with that radio? Do I need to smoke before that inve uh, attempt? Maybe. I'm not holding anything in that hand right now anyway. Okay. I would like to pre- and post-emptively apologize about video stuff. I know I've done it before. I know I said I was, um, I... There's just stuff I can't can seem to control despite my best efforts. Do we have any more information here? I know that I've done it. Now we still don't know enough, and even that those thoughts about the pale generator do not help. All right, that's fine. Right to work. Right to work. All right, that's fine. I didn't want to talk about it anyway. Um. Yeah, I think we're going to waste a half hour. Oh no, we need the map. See, folks? This is why I need a notebook. And you. It is such a pleasure to see you again, officer. How may I eat the citizens, Felicia? What right. is a fine day? I could increase the 7 to either 28 or 42, depending on how cigarettes are actually working right now. And I don't think I have any other rhetoric. I will do a quick scan. Maybe at some point I will make a list. Then again, I don't even keep a notebook, as we have found out today because of my flub on the last video. I have a minus rhetoric. I knew that.
What does add rhetoric? Maybe the glasses that I don't have? It is such a pleasure to see you again, officer. How may I eat the citizens' I want it. This fine day. Oh, that was bad. I rolled a two. A man so principled about his sandwich. Calls for a principled approach. Time to get political. What is political? This right here is political. These options seem awfully fascist or communist. What if I don't want to say them? Say one of these fascist or communist things or fuck off. Whoa, easy there, Goldmouth. He doesn't have to say anything. Re-engage cop mode and bail out if you like. I don't know if getting weird is going to make it impossible to recover it. Ah! Your blood sandwich is a tool of the oppressors, designed to keep the proletariat docile. What? What oppressors? I'm not going to listen to this comic connery! He utters through clenched teeth and turns his back to you. <laughs> Nothing. Actually, let's talk about something else. I can't do it. If that lowered your checks, I'm gonna laugh. Vigilance, officer. What can this old carabiner do for you? Um. <laughs> do we actually want more rhetoric? Sure, we're not that far off. This is too good. It is such a pleasure to see you again, officer. How may I eat the citizens' militia on this fine day? Look, you don't know, but I told someone off camera that I was gonna get that sandwich, and I'm gonna. Ugh. Ugh. There really isn't anything else I could say? No. You're gonna starve to death. Too late. Daddy's already fighting the bad fight. Make it stick. Back to police mode. Alright. I'm not gonna spend a second point to get that damn sandwich. Am I? Probably not. Um, you were composure, weren't you? See, now that I can at least do without... Am I doing any composure right now? I have a one. That's a minus. That is the opposite of what I would like. Thank you. Also a minus. This nylon windbreaker is so dynamic it wraps around you like a membrane. Equipped with a stowable hood, the backside of the garment is covered in sport and summer-related text. It swishes softly as you walk. Plus one composure. Keep your cool. Minus one shivers. Weatherproof. While we're at it, Mega Binos Prescription Lenses. Whose idiotic idea were square and beige plastic frames anyway? Beige is a color that does not look good on anyone. Certainly not my electronics. No, okay, why were computers way back when that awful tan beige color that only got darker and grosser with time? And if you were a smoker, it turned yellow-orange and it was awful. I don't smoke, but I've seen enough computers that I never wanted to put my hands on. Not to mention that seeing the world through these exceedingly thick lenses feels almost nauseating. Plus two encyclopedia, discover your inner bino. Minus one perception, nausea inducing hell glasses. Versus shades of self-destruction. Plus one electrochem, wreck it jack. Minus one logic, suicidal ideations. These death-tinted shades come with an odd longing for self-destruction. They're ugly. You don't even need a mirror to know this. Describing them as futile, you best get, best get a glass of wine. 
Vigilance, officer. What can this old carabiner do for you? Ah, uh, really? No. It's possible that our playthrough just will not know these men. Despite our best attempts. Hang on. It takes willpower to even read that author's name. Jean, Cla Jean Kaus from Ignoia. What do you mean by that? Slightly chubby. <laughs> Wait, did she just imply that you're fat? You're not fat! The body type she's referring to is called a Franco-Nigerian hard body. You both share what? A Franco-Nigerian dad bod. Softly round, yet still in shape. The ladies dig it. Softly round. Okay. Uh, I got it, thanks. Ma'am, I was asking about your cockatoo. Is it missing? I don't even have a cockatoo. And guess what? It's a trap. Never say what. What? Even if I had, it wouldn't be missing. All right, cockatoo not missing. Just wanted to make sure. What do you mean by me being a cockatoo? Nothing. Go read up on them if you're so interested. There's a great book in the bookstore. I already accepted that. No. All right. Uh, but I guess we're going to get the map in the next episode, for, uh, folks. And friends. I can say both. Until then.